Hello everybody, my name is Julio. And I'm Jessica. Welcome to the Lopez Homestead. God, family, and land. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And there's actually three or four over there in that corner. Mm -hmm. I think you have one in a pot over there. And there's like two or three there. We should put them in a row together. Right? We got to put them in pots so that we can take them and plant them. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do with the tomato vines? Hello guys and welcome back. I'm Julio from the Lopez Homestead, God, Family and Land. And I wanted to make a video to bring an update. Something drastic and horrible that happened to our backyard garden. Came out here and... So... This is where we would normally have a jungle of tomatoes. This entire row is empty and... It looks like there's a vine in the floor here. All of my bamboo sticks are in the ground. I have some banana leaves peeled off here. <sighs> I think I know what happened. Jessica's done it again. She came here, she started pruning all of our leaves. She probably came here and she saw a bunch of spaghetti squash or whatever you call those little white bugs lily bugs or dillion bugs and, and she decided that enough was enough well I don't blame her it has been hard because they were eating our tomatoes oh man but I love my, my tomato plants Yes, we had to cut them and they had to go. Play some sad music in the background for me. But on the bright side, we get to plant new plants. We're gonna do corn, more tomatoes, more squash. Um, you know what, we're very close to the fall. Right now it's August. So we should start getting ready for maybe some corn, maybe some pumpkins, um, squash, maybe it's so too late for cucumbers, for watermelons. Hey, we'll have something in plan. Let's see what Jessica has planned. So that's the reason why she was clearing some of that room. In addition for the tomatoes being infected with pests, bugs, lily bugs, spaghetti squash, she has been planting some additional plants. So we need the extra space. Wish we have more space that we can plant our garden. And the reason why our banana tree has more leaves pruned down is because our banana tree needs to grow. Sometimes you gotta prune some of those leaves so that it starts giving fruit. And we also found baby bananas that we took out of the ground. So there was two baby bananas that were coming out of the roots out of there. And we knew that there was not gonna be any room. We pruned them down, we kept some of the nice leaves. There's already new foliage coming out. So once the bananas start giving us fruit, it's gonna be a whole new harvest and we actually cut down some of the baby banana trees which uh, we planted in water until they start giving us fruits so because bananas are uh, fed by water we planted this in water and when they start giving us roots we're going to replant them in in pots so meanwhile 
these are going to stay here in, in a bucket of water. We're just going to have to change the water often so there's no bugs or tadpoles or frogs or any other kind of insects that may accumulate here and mosquitoes. And once we start seeing roots coming out of these baby bananas, we put them in a plot, uh, in a pot, and we will plant them somewhere. So let's take a look at the discussion that my wife and I had when I found out that she had gotten rid of all of our plants. Take a look. Welcome back, guys. Today is a sad day here at the Lopez Homestead. Came to my garden and. Well, let me just show you. So my wife asked me, come, let me show you what I did in the garden. What's missing here? All of our tomato plants are gone. How do I feel about it? Not happy. Not happy. Not at all. She took all our tomato plants, our cherry tomatoes. Look at this, guys. She just went in there like, I don't know, and just grabbed them all and pulled them all out with roots and everything. Look at this. Perfectly good, perfectly good pepper plants here that we can replant. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put them aside probably put some dirt on them later and save them so look at this this right here this is a sweet potato plant this gives you sweet potatoes you plant it in the ground this is a vine you don't even have to have the root for it because every little one of this has baby roots right there growing I don't know you can see that right there those little bristles we throw that in the ground they start going in the underground and, and growing sweet potatoes on the bottom well actually sweet potatoes are roots so that's what they produce fruit look at that another pepper so the sweet potato didn't have any mildew or any box or anything like that so I don't know why you took it out Try to save this one too. I'm gonna put it on a pot, have it grow in a vine. Yes, I'm a plant hoarder. Yes, I am. I mean, I'm proud of it. Look at all this. So, are we gonna be able to compose this or something? Is it we're gonna let it dry or? Hmm? All of those things had mealybugs and had small little squash bugs and eggs. I even took out one of the tomato plants and I'm one of the thick vine, uh, thick. Right here, these bunch of little baby eggs. Crush them. Those eggs turn into bugs. Hmm. All right, so it looks like we have a mess here in the backyard. So I guess <clears throat> we have more room to grow more stuff now. What? This. Mm -hmm. make it, Don't pull it. I just put a tie down on it. You need to get rid of some of it. I'm telling you for a reason. Look at the leaves. Look at the undersides. Okay. Right here. Mm -hmm. See? Yeah, well, all plants are Little expected to have them. some kind of uh, bugs. bugs and stuff. And that you is know. to be expected. Right. But if you. But the plant is doing fine fruit, in general. To... We had a lot of fruit from the other tomato plants. I mean, they, they got infected because of the weather. When it rains, they get bad. I get it. They didn't just get infected because of the weather, also the snails and the pests. I mean, you have a garden, you're going to have snails, you're going to have bugs, you're going to have ants, you're going to have butterflies and bees. 
So, and another thing that happens is that when you are touching infected plants with the same gloves and then you go touch your healthy plants, you are transmitting disease. So, if you're going to be touching the healthy plants with those gloves, I don't know. So far, our eggplant is looking great, healthy. We even have bees uh, pollinating the flowers, but we have yet to see any fruit sprout. We are wondering why that is. Is there such thing, is there such thing as, oh, hold on a second. Oh, guess what I just spot? Oh, an eggplant. Okay. Right there. Yep. Yeah, I meant to tell you that. Oh, cool. Yeah. Look at that. We're finally getting one. <laughs> That's a baby eggplant. Cool. And it's all because of the bees. The working bees. Where are they? Right there. There's a working bee right there. Hello, Mr. Bee. You hear that? <laughs> oh yeah he's definitely working in that flower he's trying to open it he's trying to open it <laughs> yeah I'm not bothering you I'm just looking at your work that is awesome guys so this is a bittersweet moment. Uh, obviously, you know, once in a while you do have to get rid of your plants, even if you don't want to. But my wife is right. Uh, these plants were getting absolutely bad. We had a lot of mealy bugs, a lot of what we call stink bugs on squash bugs. And uh, we didn't really take care of them the way we should have. Uh, not only that, we actually let the plants grow wild we didn't trim the leaves when we were supposed to. We didn't, we didn't prune them. And uh, so that's what happens. We, we had to get rid of it, but we're not upset. I'm just a little sad because I love every single plant in our garden. I, I think that every single plant is a blessing. And it, it produced a lot of tomatoes. We had so many cherry tomatoes. Literally every other day we were collecting uh, a bowls. Uh, uh, of cherry tomatoes so but we still got some other plants we got the Asian peppers we have the Tabasco peppers we have the jalapenos uh, we could use this rope next time for some kind of trellis I guess so bittersweet moment here at the Lopez homestead backyard garden Let's see, our, we already pruned our jalapenos, so we're getting more. So it's like part of the, the process. Here we got a new baby jalapeno growing. There he is, or she. I call my plants a she. Well, the plants a she, but the fruit is a he. Tomatoes. These are sweet bell peppers. We only have seen a handful of these. It's been struggling to grow and these are supposed to be banana peppers we didn't get the first harvest because when we were building the raised beds um our dog jumped in the raised beds and she beat them off and cut them off i don't know if you can see right here the the original plant is this one right here but it's recuperating so hopefully we'll get the second one come around and I don't know what this is. Looks like, um, I wonder if we planted another a sweet potato plant over here. I don't know, we'll see. I usually let them grow, and if they turn out not to be something good, we'll get rid of them. And right over here, um, this is our green tomatillo plants. Um, I made a video on how to plant this. I'm gonna do a follow-up video to show you when the plant is fully grown. So 
just a small tour. And what? This is why you have to cut down the oh our tomato plants. Because what happens is when you have one plant that's infected, Man. they'll try to transfer. Sorry guys, but Ooh. I'll have to kill you. Got him. Well, it's a good thing you got gloves. But don't just throw them all there. It's uh, dead. Yeah, but what if it has eggs? No, it's and dead. it's gonna grow in the ground. Oh man, so now we have to inspect this plant. Make sure the maybe the, the box jump from the tomato plant over here. Because they're trying to survive, you you killed their house, and now they're moving along. You know, and one, that's one of the reasons why I do kind of like wasps and uh, lizards because lizards do eat some of these bugs. And a wasp, I actually caught a wasp once eating uh, or, or capturing some of these insects. Believe it or not, I think wasps are the carnivorous insects. <laughs> uh, unlike bees that, that like to eat from the flowers. But yeah, every insect and animal has a purpose. I still don't know what the mealy box purpose is. They don't have a purpose. They just eat your bees. And they just mess up your plants. Yes. <laughs> they, they, what they do is they eat the sap from the leaves. Holes in your leaves, eggs in your leaves. Uh, those holes probably are from a grasshopper. Remember, I caught the big old grasshopper the other day. Yeah, and also some of it can be from the snails. We have so many snails that we have to keep uh, taking off of our plants. Oh, snails will crawl up on anything. I, I seen a, a snail crawl up on a metal tube. I don't know where he was going because there's no plants there. Uh, like, let me show you. Let me show you. Here's Perfect example. What? See? Right there. Oh, that. So they're being transferred onto some of our Let me see. Plants. You took it? Where yeah. is it? I already Squish squished it, it already. Well, like I was telling you, I mean, you're wearing the same gloves. Hopefully, you're not transferring any. See some of these leaves? Well, they're kind of... You can kind of cut those off. If they're, like, already broken. So, yeah. Oh, look at that. Little guy here. We were just talking about you guys, little lizards. So you'll find all kinds of insects and animals in one plant. You see that? Baby lizard, trying to get some food. You see him? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he'll chill, jump around. And I'm telling you, man, this these snails, they'll just crawl up on anything. Yeah, but look at this one. He's over here on a, on a bare uh, stick. There's nothing there. They don't want to get caught. <laughs> I don't think they know where they're going. <clears throat> Look at that, we have another pepper plant here that somehow managed to land here. We have a few... Um... Wait, what happened to the rest of our okras? We have a few okras. One, two... One. See, the little eggs. Let me see. Oh, what? Uh, the black ones? Yep. Are those, those are eggs? Mm-hmm. Huh. Bugs. See? See it moving? Yeah. The black bugs? Yep. Make sure they don't fall on the okra because it's right underneath you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we had a small type of infestation and the reason why is because of the humidity. Here in Florida, it does get humid. Uh, right after it rains, the sun comes out and the humidity hits you and then the sun is really hot. So we created a little shade. We bought this tent, uh, Harbor Freight, and I, I connected them up there couple of uh, metal sticks and from connected from the from the fence and he has helped our plants stay nice and cool um, 
but also the moisture can 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 be bad. Here we got Jessica cutting some of the leaves off. You could probably cut this entire branch off. It's sticking out. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's too low. Yeah, this one is like too low. You could probably yeah oh hold on we got is this is this gonna give us uh fruit may not you don't think uh, so we can leave it to all see. right yeah we're gonna leave that alone because we have been struggling to get some of the eggplants and yeah we're i don't know we planted it planted them together too there's three of them right it's, should have spaced oh. them out next time. What? What? Another bug. bug? Where? Oh wow, you you have sight of a hawk. I would have never seen those things. They're camouflage. Mm. You got yeah. hawk eyes. I'm gonna call you hawk eyes. Sorry. The vision of a hawk. Wow. Hmm. Well, we came out here to get tomatoes and we ended up getting squash box. <laughs> Look at the little lister. I think he likes the camera. You like the camera? You like the attention? Are you posting for Instagram or Facebook? Well, you are part of the Lopez Homestead. So you can post. Yeah, he think I think he knows what I'm talking to him. He, look, he keeps looking straight at me. Oh, are we about to witness? Go get him. Go get him. Go get that little go get the little fly, little man. Get him. He's right there next Another to you. Possible oh yeah? Let me see. Yeah. Oh. Hopefully. Right there. And that one right there. Hopefully, yeah. That will be awesome to start seeing the eggplants develop. We've been, we've been waiting for quite some time. Yeah, so we, we've been successful with tomatoes, peppers. Uh, we had melons. We had cucumbers. We had... Uh, what else did we have? Pineapples. Right now, we got papayas growing on the tree back here. We, we had bananas at one point. Didn't make it. I think the... The branch was too heavy and and, it's, and it easily got knocked down by our dog when she was passing by or the wind. Um, but um, so yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on here. <clears throat> we, sometimes you gotta get rid of the fruits, like I said. Uh, there's a few of these tomatoes, but I don't recommend eating them because we don't know if they have any kind of disease. And we refuse to use pesticides on our plants that's one of the reasons that we started the gardening one of the reasons why we started our little gardening ho uh, homestead because we don't want to be eating plants that have pesticides uh, we try to eat uh, organically locally grown we do our research before we buy our food from a farmer's market because not every farmer's market out there uh, they're not all legit do some research just because they say farmer's market or organic does ne not necessarily mean that they're being uh, honest with you which is kind of sad because a lot of people do put their trust in vendors but sometimes vendors are just out for the money and so but if it is getting bad you have to start over again and we don't mind now here we have uh, some avocado trees that grew between those branches. See, it's like a bittersweet moment. When we took out those tomato plants, we ended up noticing that there's avocado trees here growing. Now these avocado trees, we're not gonna live here. We're gonna have to definitely relocate them. Because avocado trees, as you know, they get very big, tall. And we have one, two, little one right there, three, Four, five, six, seven, seven that I can count. How many did you count? One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven, okay. 
So seven and I think there's maybe there's two. Three over there. Two or three on the other side. And so. Right behind you. There's, there's another two or three. Right behind me, where? In a pot. Oh, we have him in a pot too. Over here, I forgot. I completely forgot about those. Yeah, we definitely have to get those replanted in a place where they can grow. Uh, we actually got this papaya tree kind of like the similar way. We just, I don't know where we found it. It was uh, right in the middle of this patch. And it was about five inches tall when I transplanted it over here. Took care of it and now it's producing fruits. So that's, that's good about that. Still got some leftover pepper pots if anybody wants them <laughs> here we're going we're growing moringa baby moringa trees all right well that's it for today guys better shoot moment i'll leave you guys with the good stuff so we can stay on a good note we have our baby banana tree completely established it's adapting well the foliage just opened those are brand new leaves you see right here on the top if you saw my last youtube channel um last uh, youtube video i was talking about the leaves that were bad and that's the reason why we got this um banana tree uh on a special discount and, and if i mention home depot i apologize uh we actually found this at lowe's we found this at Lowe's, but you can find them on both Lowe's and Home Depot. They both have specials always going on. And uh, you can always find plants that they look like they're about to die. And then you can take them home and recuperate them. And rehabilitation. <laughs> and on this side, we have more peppers and our sunflowers that Ian and Sophia grew in one of their videos that we posted on YouTube as well. So they, they planted about six of them but only one of them made it uh, but that's how nature works that's why you gotta have consistency you gotta have a backup plant to everything because now nah, I don't always just plant one plant I plant at least two of everything just in case minimum two you can plant more but we always do at least two of everything that way we have a backup uh, here we have two of those two of those and sometimes we do three or four uh, just not, you never know one of them might make it the other one might not make it and then you can always multiply them and so forth but uh that's it for now guys thanks for tuning in thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe continue to follow us on instagram facebook and youtube lopez homestead got family in life.